What's up, guys? It's uh, that time of the year again, March Madness. Uh, gonna help you guys out with your brackets. Gonna go through game by game what I think. Give you a couple tips. Uh, I'm sure you've heard quick and loans put up a billion dollars uh, to a perfect bracket. That is a lot of dough, a lot of cake. And uh, you guys are, I'm sure you guys are in your office pools, want to beat your buddies, whatever. Well, I'm gonna help you get there. Uh, so let's get into it. All right. So first, we gotta go Florida. Um, one verse sixteen. The last two years, though, three of eight one verse sixteen matchup has been have been decided by single digits. So the sixteen seeds are getting closer, but I don't see that happening here with Florida. Uh, next game, we got to go with Pittsburgh over Colorado. Uh, Colorado hasn't been the same since Spencer Dinwiddie went down with a torn ACL. Pittsburgh playing better. I like Pittsburgh. Uh, Shaka Smart VCU. Got to go with VCU over Stephen F. Austin. Although shout out to Stephen F. Austin. Uh, they've won twenty eight in a row. Haven't lost since November 23rd, so something to consider. Um, but I still like VCU in that one. Got to go UCLA over Tulsa. Uh, UCLA just won the Pac-12 uh, tournament over Arizona. Um, so I like uh, UCLA there. Uh, first upset, I'm going to go with the Flyers of Dayton over Ohio State. I'm sure you guys have heard of Aaron Kraft. Aaron Kraft is a great on-ball defender. Uh, really, you know, he gets some steals. He, he's a great player, but he, he's not a super scorer. And uh, he doesn't have a lot of guys to pass to that can score. So Ohio State, they've struggled this year because of their uh, lack of ability to score. I think Dayton will score with them. I think Dayton will squeak that out. Um, next, we got to go Syracuse in that zone over Western Michigan. Uh, next, New Mexico over Stanford. Uh, Cameron Barstow averaging 20.3 points per game from New Mexico. I like them over Stanford. Uh, got to go Kansas over Eastern Kentucky. Andrew Wiggins and those guys will get that done. All right, back to the top. Uh, a lot of guys aren't going to agree with this, but I like Pittsburgh over Florida. I think the ACC is just so much stronger than the SEC. Even though Florida won 18 and all conference, it's not that great of a conference. Uh, only three teams uh, in this tournament from the SEC, uh, whereas six from the ACC. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think Tlaib Zana will be a key in this one. Tlaib Zana will neutralize Patrick Young. Uh, Patrick Young, a big threat down low for Florida. Tlaib Zana has a lot of length. I think he'll uh, neutralize Patrick Young and uh, Pittsburgh and Lamar Patterson and Tlaib Zana will beat Florida. Um, going with VCU over UCLA, um, be curious to see how the refs call this tournament. If they're calling you know, every single touch foul like they were back in November. Um, but if they're not and they're still calling it like they are now, I think VCU will take care of uh, UCLA. All right, next we got to go. With Syracuse over Dayton, uh, that zone, they'll play really well. Syracuse will get that done. And then Kansas, even if Joel Embiid isn't back by this time, I still think Andrew Wiggins and those guys will take care of New Mexico. All right, back to the top. I'm going with Pittsburgh over VCU. Uh, Lamar Patterson uh, averaging 17.6 uh, points per game. But uh, what will be important in this one, he's averaging 4.3 assists per game. Uh, that'll help him get out of that VCU uh, Havoc defense, and uh, they'll take down VCU. All right, next, if Joel Embiid is not back by this point, got to go with Syracuse. Um, if he is, I give the edge to Kansas just because of that inside threat. Uh, Syracuse has a lot of bigs down low. Uh, they really, their length gets in the way. I think Joel Embiid would help with that. So, But I don't think he's going to be back by this time. I think Syracuse will win that one. All right, now for our lead eight matchup to get to the final four, Pittsburgh versus Syracuse. Um, Big East transfers both ACC teams now. They've played each other twice this year. Syracuse has won both games. I think Syracuse will make it three games, and uh, they'll make it to the Final Four. All right, going to go across the way. Um, a one seed has never lost to a 16 seed. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Arizona will take care of Weber State here. Uh, Oklahoma State, a guy like them over against Zaga. Marcus Smart and those guys are playing a lot better. Uh, on the other hand, though, for Oklahoma, I'm not really impressed with that with Oklahoma. Uh, they rely heavily on the three. Uh, we've seen teams in the past that rely heavily on the three not get it done. Uh, like North Dakota State, they're actually leading the nation in field goal percentage at 50.9%. It's really good. And uh, I think they'll beat Oklahoma. Uh, Got to go with San Diego State over New Mexico State. San Diego State, uh, good wins this year over Kansas and Creighton. I think they'll take care of business. A lot of people like Nebraska over Baylor, but I don't see that. I see Baylor uh, playing really well. Just got to the Big 12 tournament uh, championship, lost to Iowa, uh, Iowa State, but they're playing really good. And I think people want Nebraska to do well, but I don't see it happening. Uh, Creighton obviously has Doug McDermott, uh, Wooden, Ward, uh, probably going to be the winner. Um, 
plays really well, really tough. I think Creighton will win that one. Uh, Oregon over BYU. This will be a high-scoring, fast-paced game, and I think that really benefits the Ducks. So I got Oregon in that one. And then Wisconsin playing really well. I got them over American. All right, back to the top. Now, this has probably never happened. As a matter of fact, I know it hasn't happened ever um, in the history of the tournament. But I'm going Oklahoma State over Arizona. I think Marcus Smart uh, will neutralize Nick Johnson and those guys. LeBron Nash for Oklahoma State. Uh, Phil Forte probably knocked down a couple threes. That will be the difference. Um, and I like them over Arizona. Uh, I like San Diego State over North Dakota State. And I like Baylor over Creighton. Um, uh, Baylor has a player, Isaiah Austin. He's 7-1. Uh, people don't realize that uh, Doug McDermott is actually really key to Creighton's uh, rebounding. He actually is forced to get a lot of the rebounds. Um, I think Isaiah Austin's size will get rebounds for Baylor, and I think that Baylor will squeak that one out because of their ability to get boards over Creighton. Um, down here, I like Wisconsin over Oregon. Wisconsin a really good fundamental basketball team with better scoring than they have had in past years. I think Wisconsin will win that one. Going to Oklahoma State again, I think Oklahoma State is a really good basketball team. They were shown at the beginning of the year, and I think they can get back to that. And I have them going to the Elite Eight, and I believe they will play Wisconsin, who will beat the Bears of Baylor. And then to the Final Four, I have Wisconsin again. Uh, playing really well. Um, they have more scoring that they've, than they've had in the last several years. Still have that fundamental defense. And uh, big guys that can shoot outside, and they really spread you out. And I think uh, Wisconsin will get to the Final Four. All right, down to the bottom here. Uh, Virginia over Coastal Carolina, ACC regular season and tournament champions. Really impressed by that. Uh, Tony Bennett and those guys really playing well. So I got them. Uh, Memphis, George Washington. Both these teams have really quality wins. Um, Memphis beat Louisville. Um, and uh, George Washington. George Washington beat. Who did they beat? George Washington beat. Uh, I believe it was Creighton, VCU, and UMass. And uh, Memphis beat Louisville twice. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, but I like Memphis in that one. I got Harvard over Cincinnati. Cincinnati uh, struggles to score sometimes. Uh, Sean Kilpatrick, really their only main scorer. Um, I think Harvard will win that one, a close game, low scoring game. Uh, I got Michigan State over the Blue Hens, uh, possibly the best name in this tournament. So if you're picking off of names, I'd definitely go with the Delaware Blue Hens. But I got uh, Michigan State, Tom Ezzo and company, and those guys. Uh, gonna go with UNC over Providence. Uh, it would help out if Marcus Page would score a little bit in the first half for UNC. But I, even if he doesn't, he's going to score enough in the second that they'll get it done. Uh, the Cyclones of Iowa State will beat North Carolina Central. Although Central, shout out to Central. They played really well this year making the tournament. Um, but I think Iowa State has too much offensive firepower for them. I'm uh, going to go with Shabazz Napier and UConn over St. Joe's. Um, playing really good. I think uh, UConn will take care of them. And then Villanova over Milwaukee. All right, back to the top. I'm actually going to pick the one seed this time. I know you guys are shocked, but I'm actually going to go with U uh, UVA. The Cavs will take care of Memphis. I'm going to go with Michigan State over Harvard. Um, and then I'm going to go with Iowa State over UNC. Iowa State has a lot of firepower. They can score. I think they're averaging over 80 points per game. Um, UNC sometimes struggles to score. I think that'll be the difference there. And then I've got an upset here. I've got UConn over Villanova. Uh, Villanova just hasn't really impressed me that much. Villanova uh, got beat twice by Creighton. Once they got thumped. And uh, they, they're only good. Their only really quality win was over Kansas. But that was really early in the season. I think Kansas has improved since then. So I like UConn. Shabazz Napier is a really good player. Uh, experienced player. And I think that they'll win that game. All right, back here I got Virginia. Over the Spartans, I think uh, Virginia playing really well. Uh, really fundamentally sound team. I think they'll get that win over the Spartans. Then we're going to go with Iowa State over UConn again. Iowa State, um, really good basketball team. Score a lot of points. And I think they'll get that win. And then to get to the Final Four, I have Iowa State again. Um, really important key is uh, Iowa State leads the nation they add in uh, assists per game. There was 18.5 assists per game. That's pretty incredible, and I think that'll be a huge key uh, 
to really mess in with Virginia, who's a great defensive team. Uh, they'll get, they'll have great ball movement, and they'll be able to take out Virginia. All right, we're going to go with Wichita State. Then we're going to go with Kentucky, although this is a close game for me. I, I think Kansas State could easily win this game. Uh, Kentucky really young. People are saying Kentucky could possibly beat Wichita State as well. I just don't see that. Um, I think they're, they'll barely get past Kansas State. Uh, I'm going to go with NC State over Xavier and then over St. Louis as well. Uh, T.J. Warren, ACC Player of the Year, uh, leading scorer in the ACC, uh, hustles hard. They, they they wouldn't be in this tournament without him, but he's a great player, and I think he'll, he'll help them get past both those teams. Uh, Got to go with Louisville over Manhattan, Russ Smith. Uh, and those guys are playing really, really well. Uh, gotta go. I'm going to go with Tennessee over Iowa and then over UMass, although I love UMass and Chaz Williams. Looks like a little Kevin Hart out there. Um, he can ball too. He's really good. But I got to go with Tennessee uh, over both those teams. Uh, going to go with Duke over Mercer. The game's played in Raleigh. Last time Duke played in Raleigh, they lost. But I believe that they'll win this time. Um, going to go with Texas over Arizona State. And going to go with Michigan over the Wofford Terriers. Um, back to the top, I got Wichita State over Kentucky. I think Kentucky is too young, uh, not experienced. Wichita State, Ron Baker and those guys are experienced. They know how to get it done. I think they'll take care of Kentucky. Uh, Got to go with Louisville over NC State. Louisville will press the crap out of NC State, and uh, NC State will struggle. They'll probably turn it over too many times. TJ Warren will probably still get his points, but Louisville will win that game. Uh, Got to go with Duke, uh, Jabari Parker, Rodney Hood. Those guys are really good forwards for Duke, and they'll take care of Tennessee. Uh, I'm going to go in the upset here. I'm going to go with uh, Texas over Michigan. Texas gets on the glass really good. It's one of the things that they do really well. And Michigan, since Mitch McGarry is out, uh, they've struggled to get boards, and I think that uh, that will help Texas a lot, and Texas will be able to get that win. All right, back to the top. I'm going to go with Louisville over Wichita State. I think Rich, Wichita State is a really good basketball team, but Louisville is just – so good right now. They're scoring in bunches. They're blowing teams out. I think Louisville will get that done. Uh, and then I have Duke over Texas in a close one. Again, Duke is another team that struggles to get boards at times. But I think Jabari Parker, Rodney Hood, those guys will will uh, Duke past Texas. And then I'm going to go with Louisville to get to the Final Four. Russ Smith and those guys uh, really playing well. And I've got them. All right, so my Final Four is Syracuse, Wisconsin, Iowa State, Louisville. Um, I'm going to have Syracuse over Iowa State. I think the only way Iowa State could win that game is if they get out in front of that zone. They really push the tempo. Um, but even if they do, they're going to have to do it a lot. And I don't think Syracuse and Jim Beheim will allow that. Um, I think Syracuse length will bother them. And, uh, and unless Iowa State's really knocking it down from three, I think Syracuse is going to win that game. Uh, then Wisconsin-Louisville. Going to go with Louisville. It's another kind of high offense versus low scoring game but I think Louisville's just playing so well they will get that done and uh, too much athleticism for Wisconsin and then championship game I'm going to have Syracuse over Louisville um, they're just playing Syracuse is just a really good team I think a X factor for them will be Trevor Cooney he'll probably hit four or five threes and that'll be the difference uh, Russ Smith's really going to have to light it up for them for them to beat Syracuse from outside um, which he's done before, but I just don't see it happening in this one. C.J. Farrell get his points, and I think uh, Syracuse will win. So, guys, uh, hopefully that will help you out. Hopefully you guys will win some money. I'll tell you what, if I win the billion, I'll give everybody who likes this video $10,000. And uh, hopefully you'll give me $10,000 if you win it. So, uh, again, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, hit like, subscribe, and uh, I hope you guys win a lot. All right, see ya.